But really, either way, you can see from all of these potential issues that really your cat needs to be assessed and get the appropriate treatment. It's not something that you want to sit on. Being able to pee and poo is fundamental to life. So what could be going on with an older cat who can't do either of these? Well, it's potentially pretty serious. And that's the question I'm tackling today. Welcome to Call the Vet, the show that answers all your dog and cat questions so they can live healthier, happier lives. And here's your host, veterinarian, Dr. Alex Avery. Welcome along. You're listening to episode number 57 of the Call the Vet show. If we've not met before, I'm Dr. Alex. I'm the veterinarian behind OurPetsHealth.com. And my aim is simply to help you and your pet to live a healthier happier life. So if you're not already subscribed, if you're a first time listener, welcome along. I'm really happy that you've decided to share your earbuds with me and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all of my future episodes. You can also get your question answered at callthevet.org. And for those of you who have been listening for a while and who enjoy the show, welcome back. And I just appreciate it so much if you could share this show with two or three of your pet owning friends or family to help them benefit from the information that I give and also to help me to help more pets, which is really what I'm absolutely dedicated to. So with that out of the way, let's get into today's episode. And today's question is from Lewin, and apologies if I've not pronounced that right, Lewin. Um, But Lewin wrote in and said, my cat's bladder was so full he could not eliminate waste. What is causing him not to be able to pee or poop? And he is a a 19-year-old, I'm sorry, a 19-year-old domestic short hair cat. So just your kind of standard moggy cat. 19 years old is an amazing age to get to. It's definitely um, longer than most. So Lewin's clearly been doing something right to take care of them for so long. And really, there's a number of reasons why a cat might be unable to empty their bladder All of them, unfortunately, are potentially serious, although some of them are more treatable than others. So the first is there's actually an obstruction within the bladder or within the, um, the urethra, which is the tube that runs from the bladder to the outside world. And that can be a result of inflammation. It could be a result of an infection. Um, and certainly infection is a possibility in an older cat. Now, if it was a younger cat, um, you know, less than maybe eight or nine years of age, then infection is actually very rare. But in an older cat, infection is definitely a possibility. Um, an obstruction can also be caused by a bladder stone, uh, um, which is a crystal that forms within the bladder and it causes kind of like a sludgy sandy sediment or a big large stone that can cause a blockage or unfortunately a tumor as well so cancer of the bladder it's not super common but it's not all that rare um, and that can cause an obstruction as well so the next reason for a cat not being able to empty their bladder an older cat is nerve damage and that can be because of a number of different things so trauma is going to be the main one here i'm um, so a knock on the road for example um or an injury such as what we'd call a tail pull injury a tail pull event where maybe the tail's got trapped in something and has been yanked hopefully not from actually someone grabbing the tail and yanking it because that can really damage the nerves it can rip all the nerves that um, then go to the bladder and that causes a cat being unable to actually uh, empty their bladder Next up, we have actually bladder muscle weakness. Now, this is often not something that happens as the primary cause, but it can happen if the bladder becomes very full for another reason. And actually, it then becomes the bladder wall itself becomes really weak and floppy and it's unable to contract even when the original problem has been corrected. So an example um, would be if there's been an obstruction and the bladder's been really, really large for some time or nerve damage and it's been large for some time, then even once that's corrected, it may be that actually the bladder isn't able to contract. And that's something that can potentially be treated. So if that's the case, if the initial cause has been cleared, then this may be something that we need to think about uh, providing ongoing treatment for. And then another reason that a cat is seemingly unable to empty their bladder is because of pain. So arthritis is a classic example for this in an older cat. It often goes unrecognized, undiagnosed and untreated. And that can result in a cat just being unable 
unable or unwilling to go to the toilet. So they hold on for an extended period of time. So they just maybe can't get into their litter tray because the the sides of the tray are too steep uh, or um, they just can't kind of assume this normal squatting position, which, um, you know, then uh, kind of stimulates them to go to the toilet, if you like. So while a cat will eventually urinate, that can actually also result in severe constipation. And it might be actually that's why uh, your cat isn't able to pass poop because they become really severely constant, uh, constipated as well. So if your cat is actually having problems pooping as well, then I'd be especially worried about the second group of issues. So that's nerve damage. Um so that's resulting from trauma or a tail pull injury. But really, either way, you can see from all of these potential issues that really your cat needs to be assessed and get the appropriate treatment. It's not something that you want to sit on and try a few kind of home remedies, giving laxatives or giving um, some, you know, some other kind of natural treatment, whatever you may find with different advice online. You really need to get your cat assessed straight away by your vet, um, especially as a bladder obstruction is fatal very rapidly within 24 to 48 hours if it's not cleared um, and the other causes will result in pain um, and all kinds of different knock-on effects which really need to be addressed so uh, I hope that helps answer your question Luan um, you know be prepared the answer might not be might not be what we want to hear but you know we definitely need to make sure that your cat gets the care and the attention that they undoubtedly deserve Get your questions answered at callthevet.org. So that's it for this episode of the podcast. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I'd appreciate if you could share the show with three of your pet owning friends or family. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex. This is Call the Vet. Take care. You've been listening to Call the Vet. Be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of the show that answers all of your pet questions.